The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Two worlds compared, but as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ye heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2 9. The glory of the eternal world has been opened before me. I want to tell you that heaven is worth winning. It should be the aim of your life to fit yourself for association with the redeemed, with holy angels, and with Jesus, the world's Redeemer. If we could have but one view of the celestial city, we would never wish to dwell on earth again. There are beautiful landscapes on earth, and I enjoy all these prospects of loveliness in nature. I associate them with the Creator. But I know that if I love God and keep His commandments, there is a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory reserved in heaven for me. There, when the veil that darkens our vision shall be removed, and our eyes shall behold that world of beauty of which we now catch glimpses through the microscope, when we look on the glories of the heavens, now scanned afar through the telescope, when the blight of sin removed, the whole earth shall appear in the beauty of the Lord our God. What a field will be open to our study. There the student of science may read the records of creation and discern no reminders of the law of evil. He may listen to the music of nature's voices and detect no note of wailing or undertone of sorrow. In all created things he may trace one handwriting in the vast universe, behold God's name writ large, and not in earth or sea or sky one sign of ill remaining. Let your imagination picture the home of the saved, and remember that it will be more glorious than your brightest imagination can portray. In the varied gifts of God in nature, we see but the faintest gleaming of his glory. Human language is inadequate to describe the reward of the righteous. It will be known only to those who behold it. No finite mind can comprehend the glory of the paradise of God.